Hello everyone and welcome to a sort of new series. So this is linked to my Warrior Cat series and basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking suggestions for cats from you guys and trying to create them or recreate them in The Sims 3. So I actually got a suggestion a while ago to create a cat called Stumpin. So I'm going to do that and I'm also going to create I think one or two cats of my own creation. Now Stumpin is a black cat with a either a, with a short tail or without a tail. I can't remember which one but I don't think I can do him without a tail so I'm gonna have to do him with a very short tail. Uh, and my game's lagging, there we go. So first of all let's try and find a black coat. <laughs> I have uh, many coats on here, many, many coats on here that I have customly made. Uh, there's honey furs. So we need a black coat. Hmm. And half of them won't load in because my game takes forever to load all the coats in. Uh, black. Do I have just pure black? Uh, that's brown, that's the coat currently he has. I'm going to have to change that because currently he is a she. Um, why? Where? Where? Okay, back coat. Oh, cute nose. I love it when cats have pink noses. I don't know why. So, black cat with a very short tail. <laughs> So cute! So I didn't actually get any um, knowledge of what traits he has. So um, when you are leaving a suggestion for the cat, also put like for example if they're fluffy or not and what traits they have because it just makes it a little easier for me to create the cat if I have some more information. Also their eye colour or nose colour. Um, so yeah this is what I'm going to have as Stumpin and he is very cute. Uh, I'm not sure what his personality traits are going to be so I think I'm going to give him a hunter. So he's quite a natural wild cat. Uh, maybe a bit hyper because I feel like he's one of the younger cats. Um, um, maybe he's like a bit uh, skittish so he can he if he doesn't know cats very well he might get freaked out easily so I think I'm going to have I'm going to give him correction those traits and I'm going to change him to a boy and hang on let me just go and check the spelling for Stumpin okay so I'm pretty sure this is how you spell Stumpin um, and so yeah this is going to be that adorable cat and he will be added into my world all the new cats will be added into my world um, now I'm going to create another cat this is going to be a she cat and I'm not sure what her name's going to be quite yet I had a name in mind but I want to see kind of what the cat ends up looking at like okay that is a very random coat I'm pretty sure that was an accidental coat I saved um, Right. Uh, please load. <laughs> no, stop lagging. <laughs> uh, whenever I'm trying to load the coats up, it's always really laggy. There we go. How did you suddenly change into Violet Paw? Hmm. Um, let's let's have a look. Let's actually first have a look at breeds of cats because when you look for breeds of cat you get completely different face shapes. For example this face shape is already very different to hers. So I like going through the breeds and seeing which breeds I can find because it just gives some variety to the cats. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's cute. That's very small. 
this big fluffy cat. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go with this base, but I'm going to make her nose very slightly thinner because I like editing it very slightly when I'm creating the cats. So I need to actually go in and find her nose and find which one it is. Nope, that's not it. And that's muzzle whip. Uh, nope, that's not it either. <laughs> I can never remember which one is the right one for it. That's, yeah, that's the length. Um, oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. And I will also see, can I change this? Yeah, so she has a bit more of a petite nose. And I think her ears are going to be very slightly smaller. I do have uh, several mods installed, meaning I can make uh, one ear bent, one ear folded. And it's the, the ears were more for dogs, um, for my Sims 3 Border Collie challenge. Uh, then for the cats, but I have used it in several occasions uh, Like actually Thornpaw has one ear very slightly bent more bent than the other ear um, Okay, let's oop. See ear, where's ear size? Here we go, ear shape. Nope, that's Not the right one, but I will do that anyway Ear size. Here we go. So she has little ears and she is really adorable. <laughs> and I'm also going to change her eye colour and I can actually do that from in here. So I think she is going to have kind of like more of a darker coloured eye. So I usually change them all to the colour that I want them to be and then I just change certain things to make them very slightly different. Which one's- oh that one's that. Okay. Um, what does this one do? Okay, that gives her streaks in her eyes. This needs to be very slightly more light. There we go. So she's going to have brown eyes and I am also going to see, hang on, can you stand up? Uh, if I go into your body, can you stand up? There we go. Um, uh, I think everything else is okay. So now if we go into coats, I'm going to see if I can... Okay, stop lagging, please. Please. Thank you. I think she's going to be... What the... Okay, <laughs> that's a bit random. I have coats in here I don't even know I have in here. Um, that's one of the natural coats. Like, tortoise shells. These are actually cats that are already in the world. Um... Uh, okay, if I start with, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Here we go. This coat colouring. And then I can edit it from here. So she is going to be a very light ginger she-cat. And this is quite a light ginger, I just want it to be slightly more ginger. Because it's more of a pinky ginger right now than a gingery ginger. She's so pretty. And I've got hiccups. Right, let's see. Can we make that more of a, a gingery colour? Okay, that's good. What about everything else? Everything else needs to be slightly more ginger. Um, okay. And what about... This, what's where's this where's this random that random spat is all over her and there we go now she's standing up so we can see everything a little bit better that's always good and I'm just going to make these splot 
splatches, spots, splats, whatever they are, uh, that cover her pelt. Oh, a little more orange. And there we go. She is slightly more orange now. But then I'm also going to... Uh, where is... There we go. There's the black. So she has those markings. She also has pink around her mu muzzle that I don't really understand. Oh, that's quite cute. I think I'm gonna leave the pink kind of faded. What's this one? Does that just do the markings on her face? Yeah, that's just the markings on her face. Uh, and that, I think, is the little bit on her nose. But I also want her to have a little pink tip, um, not pink, um, white or cream tips to her ears. So we will make a new layer and I will try and find, there we go, the um, bits where you can put tips on their ears. So I also want her to have her front paws to be also cream. So just create a couple new layers and I can make her front paws cream. Uh, Okay, I like that length, so I'm going to go back onto the other paw and switch it to the same length, so there we go. And then I think on her hind paws, I'm going to do just a very little bit at the tips of their her toes. Uh, here we go, so very little at the tip of her toes. So, I also want to also put a little bit on the tip of her tail, like so. So this is going to be her, and I think I'm going to call her Fox Blossom. Um, so I'm going to go and check the spelling for Blossom, because if you don't know, I have dyslexia, meaning I struggle with spelling a lot. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I got her spelling back. Back? What? <laughs> I managed to find the spelling. So this is Fox Blossom. And I think we, well, we have time for one more cat, so we are going to create a, oh, lag, still lagging, a, I think it's going to be a Tom, and I'm actually just going to click randomise and see what randomises in and what I like. Ooh, big fluffy, I like you, you're big and fluffy. So I am actually going to do something to the coat that means it's less puffy around their cheeks because I actually have quite a lot of cats like that. Um, so I'm going to change the coat so there it's less, less, not less, less fluffy around her. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I know why. I think it's actually his neck size. So I'm going to have to find that. Uh, nope, that's not it. Nope, oh, here we go. Neck length. Yeah, neck size isn't. There we go. So now. That's better. I'm also going to see if I go back and if I go into muzzles, what other muzzle shapes we have. Okay, that's the one we currently have. I, I quite like the one we currently have, though I might edit it so it's a little more bulky. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Ah, uh, here we go, muzzle, where is it? No, where is it? Muzzle, yeah, muzzle whip. Here we go. What's this? That's the size, height, height is fine. Um, that's the height of that bit. No, it was fine the way it was. Yeah, everything else is good. 
So I'm also going to change um, uh, the, what was I going to change? Chest. I'm going to make it so he's a little thinner because it just makes a little sense as they are wild cats and even if they live at the barn it's not like they're going to get fed as often or get as much food as a kitty pet would so where is the chest okay, chest size so that's good because he's a, he looks like he's supposed to be quite a big bulky cat so just because he's bulky doesn't mean he is like fat or anything like that and I will change the gender to male and then I will go back to the coats <laughs> and lag oh why <laughs> why does my game do this to me this game is like really laggy when I am in creator sim uh, okay what's this not sure that's a calico patterning. That's a very pretty calico patterning. But male cats cannot be calicos. Uh, that was made for another cat. I'm just trying to find a base coat right now. I I love calicos. <laughs> I absolutely adore calicos. Or tortoise shells. Whichever one you want to call them. Um, let's see. What's this? It's quite a dark brown. Um, no. That, that coat is actually for one of my cats that I have added into the world. And her name is Phoenix. And that is the coat I created for her. Uh, there's a ton of coats in here that are like from my cats. Well, that's kind of obvious. quite like this one but I think I'm going to add some more black to it so there's maybe more black on his feet and we have to deal with lag again that's always fun <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm gonna call him I was only expecting to do two cats but as the cats have not taken me much time I have managed to fit in three so there's this one that one that one goes across his body there's this one, that one's on his face, on his feet, on his back, here we go. This is the one I want, and I'm going to move this, so that's on his paw. And then also, if I can, I'm not sure if I'll have to do it, yeah, I think I'll have to do it on his chest. Because the Sims game does not like it when you try to put them on his their chests. But I'll, I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, rotate it a bit. Uh, keep on rotating that. There we go. Um, let's go into this menu and go chest. Can we make, um, actually, I think there's one from the face that will go down to the chest. Yeah, like this. So if we do this and then we make that, I'm pretty sure I have black in here, black. That's cute. So I'm going to actually layer a couple of those. Okay, one too many. Back please. So I'm going to layer a couple of those up so that it becomes just more of an opaque colour. And there we go. So he has black on his chest now. And I just wanted to do that because it's cute. And I'm actually going to do this, but except I'm going to get this and make this white. So there we go, it's just on his chest, not his muzzle. And I like the way his face looked originally, but I just wanted uh, the black on his chest. So this is going to be him. And I'm not sure what I'm going to call him, so I'm just going to go to a Sims 2 Warrior Cat Random Generator for the names, randomise it a couple of times, and pick one I like, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so it randomised in Raventail, and I thought that was kind of fitting, because he's black, and also, you know... <laughs> oh, that's 
kind of funny. The game's um, randomised in noisy, independent, and uh, clueless. I did that in the wrong order. So he's not going to be clueless. He's going to be adventurous. And I don't think he's going to be noisy. He's going to be... Uh, I think he's going to be quite clever. So he, he is, he's quite independent. He doesn't particularly like being around the other cats. And he also uh, is... He likes to explore and he is very clever in getting himself out of mischief. That's how I see him. So this is Raventail. Uh, Fox Blossom. And... Hang on. Um, Stumpin. Fox Blossom, are you a boy? No, you are a girl. <laughs> Just needed to make sure of that. So these are the three cats that I have... Um made to put in the clan this episode but in the next episode of uh, this series this is going to be a separate series to my warrior cats so in the next episode of this series hopefully um i'll be able to make some of you guys as cats and um well have fun doing that I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I also hope you will enjoy the next um, couple of episodes of Warrior Cats. Uh, there was a, a big kind of twist happened in Broken Clan that the game threw at me that I have been trying to record a story for for a while. So that's why Warrior Cats hasn't been coming out like as regularly as normal because I have had my paws filled with a very long story. Um, and also I've been trying to record the beginning bits of the other episodes at the same time and then I haven't been very well over the past week so all of it's kind of just gone crazy and yeah but I hope you have enjoyed this video um, I know it's a bit well it's it's a bit unusual um, I haven't done it before but I do hope you've enjoyed it Enjoy, yeah, enjoyed it there we go um thank you for watching please hit the subscribe button and notification notification bell i can't speak today um and i hope you have a lovely day bye